Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this swing fold card. This is one that I actually made during my Facebook Live and um, I've been saying that every time I do the Facebook Live I will also do a video on YouTube so that people who don't have Facebook you get to see you know what I've made really. So this is just a really fun card, very very easy to make but it's got a great profile and I think yeah I think they've turned out lovely. So these the idea for this came from a picture I saw on Pinterest by the Craft Spa so I will link the picture in my blog and I'll share any information in the description box of this video but the, they're just so just such a clever way just a simple way of folding the card but it just gives you a really cool effect. So this is the other one that I've done which I love. It's so bright and happy and I've used, all of this is using supplies from the Kit 6 or Box 6 from the Paper Craft Society. So again I'll show you that in a moment but even this here and I coloured these, stamped and coloured in the images. So this is all stamped images and this is all die cut and I'm going to be doing this one similar in pink today. So in the kit you get the yellow, purple and pink so I thought I might as well do you know, one in the pink to show all three of them but again I've used Nouveau drops here. I did add more after I'd done the live and I've got two different coloured pinks there as well and then inside I've just continued the flower there. So I have got dimension on mine because of what I've used but this would fit perfectly into my 6x6 envelope boxes which I'll link up here but I guess if you keep yours quite flat then you could fit that in a standard 6x6 envelope. So this is what I'm going to show you how to make. Okay so this is the box six. I think box seven should be dropping through people's doors any day now. If not it already has and this was by Card Making Magic by Christina Griffiths and you can see the colours that are throughout this box. It's always shown on the envelope itself so I'll just give you a quick flick through so you can see what I've used. So for today's card I'm going for this paper. So anybody who's got this kit this is what we're going to be using. And then also the cardstock, I've gone for the pink. So you have polka dot on one side and then you have that colour on the other. And on those two you can see there's the yellow with the polka dot and then there's the yellow plain and then there is the purple. And then I think I used the polka dot. I must have, oh yeah, on the flowers there as well. So you get a lot of cardstock, lots of papers in this. So it's great for making lots of cards. And then the dies for the flowers are these ones here. So I've used this one and this one for the larger flower. And then I die cut two of the larger one of that one. And I've also cut this one, no, it was this one here, which I'm just using to decorate the inside. And then the leaves, I've die cut both of those in a green color. I also use the yellow ribbon here, just for the bow on that one there. And you get all these flat back pearls, which I've used on all of those flowers on the purple one. But on today's, I've actually used my white blizzard glitter, Nouveau glitter there. And you can see it's still drying, but once that dries clear, it'll be really, really glittery in the centre. So I just try to do different things throughout. And then you've got your stamps there as well, which is what I used for the other cards. And there's that vase and everything. So it's all, you know, really nice and matches. The toppers for this one are from the topper sheets. So I've just pulled out the thank you, which was here. And then you also get these background ones. So I've just set it on the circle there. And on the purple one, you can see the Easter blessings against the oval. And I've just put foam just to give it um, some dimension there as well. So that's what I've used from the kit, but you can easily make this with any supplies that you have. Go through the measurements of this in a moment when we get to it. Pop all of these bits to one side. Okay, so you need to do a bit of scoring. So what I've actually done for today's is this was a piece of 12 by 12 and I've just cut it in half. So I've got two pieces of 12 by six. And then for this one, along the 12 inch side, I've scored at six inches to give me my card blank. So that's my six by six card blank. And then this piece here, along the 12 inch side, you wanna score at three, six, and nine. Now, if you don't have 12 by 12 card stock and you don't have six by six card blanks, you can use the shop brought six by six, which aren't really six by six. They're more like five and three quarters by five and seven eighths. That's the size I did actually use in the Facebook Live. So I will leave a link to that video. So if, again, you may have Facebook, you might not follow me over there. You can go to that one because I show you these are all made from that slightly smaller six by six size. Okay, but for this one, I'm going to stick with the 12 by 12. So you just scored at three, six and nine and then along the six inch side you just want to score at five eighths of an inch but just to the first score line. And then at five and three eighths again just to the first score line. 
and basically these pieces here will hide behind my frame okay so that's all of the scoring that you need next we want to do a little bit of die cutting so I've got my card blank here I'm going to open it up and I've got my stitched square dies and I'll tell you the sizes that I'm going to use but I've taken the two largest and it's actually the second largest that I'm going to use to create the aperture so you want to be make sure you die cut on the right hand side because this is going to be the front of the card so it's that, that this one here that we want to use so I'm just going to grab some of my washi tape um, this one here is four and one eighths of an inch squared okay just double check that but I'm sure that was what the measurements were on the live yeah four and one eighth so you want something around that size if you go too big then the measurement that I gave you here you know you this may you may see it in your frame which will which will make sense when we get to it so you want to try and stick to you know four and one eighth of an inch four inches or maybe three and seven eighths three and three quarters would still work but if you go bigger then you will have to change maybe that measurement there that I've given you so I just want to lay this down okay so I'm kind of happy with that and then I'm going to pop my washi tape down so that it sticks in this middle bit we will reuse these but if you have got a you know a tape even some of the low tack tapes I find can still rip your cardstock but if you do it in this section at least it's not going to damage this and you can always just cut that again so I'm going to run that through my machine and what I would say especially if you're working with a white cardstock is just put a sheet of copy paper over the top and I'm only running through this half I'm not running everything or you know the whole um, rest of the card through it just will reduce the chances of you marking your card so just get that through and then in fact, I'll leave it there and then I can just pull it through there so nothing's damaged and you shouldn't have any marks on your card okay I need to do a little bit of die cutting again in a second so now we've got our main window and then this piece here I can just carefully this piece here which is five and three quarters squared and that's going to sit over the top it's then using my larger of those two and this one here I think was four and a half by four and a half yeah and I'm now I don't need this one I just need to you know use this piece for the minute reuse the washi tape and again you just want to make sure you get a nice even frame around all four sides there that looks about right again you'll use this color card in the center as well the square so I'm just going to add that there and then get that one die cut okay so this one now we can stick over here so it, it is just a decorative piece but I do think you know it it does help with the whole of the design but you've also got polka dot on this side so I'm actually thinking I quite like yeah I'm going to go for the polka dot um, so I'm just going to flip that one over but um, you could also stamp around your frame which I mentioned in the live so um, you know there's lots of ways to do this if you don't want to have this frame like I've done so I'm just adding my glue all around the frame so now we want to go back to this piece here and you want to fold it so that you have a mountain a mountain and then a valley okay so see there that's the shape that you want and you will have these sections here where you scored you want that to be on the left hand side so I'm just going to burnish those because you do want to make sure that they're well creased and then this end part here where you've done the score lines just cut those score lines away up to the first score line okay you want to remove that whole middle section so I'm just going to come in with these scissors here and again I'm just removing the score line there just to keep everything nice and neat so that is now what you should have what's then going to happen is these two sections here we're going to pop glue on and you're going to stick them inside your card here and this is why you need them to be hidden behind that frame so if your window here your you know your your, your aperture is larger than mine these could come into your frame like this so you just might need to trim a few bits or just change it a little bit so now I'm going to add glue to both of these pieces here 
and then you could fold the whole thing and just lay it inside this card like that right up to the score line and then fold this over and everything will be contained within that 6x6 six six card so I'm going to open it up just so I can actually you want it to be right up to the score line there okay so once you've got that all lined up like I said it will all you know stay within that 6x6 six six card when you open it up this back side here you want to stick down here so I'm just going to add my glue just lay that down right up to the edge again they're both six inches in width so they should marry up perfectly and you can just close that whole card down and it will all fold perfectly okay so now when we open it you can see we've got that design so now we need to just add our kind of I guess the swing element so with these two pieces here I'm going to have this colour in here but obviously it's too big because I want to have I've got white pink white then pink and then white again so you can see here I've got white purple white purple white okay so what I want to do is cut this down and then I'll trim this down slightly so you do trim a little bit away but you know there's very little waste so you want it to be slightly smaller than this window because it does need to swing quite freely if you have it exactly the same size it may catch so the window here is four and one eighth so you could do four by four okay so again that's if you've done the same size as me so just bring it in by one eighth of an inch that will be enough so I'm basically just trimming off the stitch to de detail on this one so now that, that's four by four and you'll see it can sit in here with a tiny little frame but it will now open really nicely when we stick that down so this piece here i am going to cut to so that's four by four this is going to be three and three quarters squared okay so i'm going to add some glue to the back of this one pop it on some foam if you want Quite a lot of um, dimension with my flowers and stuff so stick that in there so I've got a nice frame and then you want to add your glue into this section but don't go right up to the edges see where I'm coming in you know quite a bit there so just kind of just roughly in there make sure you get no glue on this section here you can add it to one side of that piece if you want but it's easy to control where you put your glue if you do it this way rather than putting it onto the back side of this and then you just want to sit this over, just making sure you get a nice straight. The V, like I said, there's a very, very small, you see a very small white border. You can see that border on this side here. Okay, so now we can just decorate it. So I've gone, like I said, die cut all these pieces here. And those are nearly dry, so I will be a little bit careful with them. And I've also got these two pieces here, which are going to go inside the card. So maybe I'll do them first. So these are both two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I'm going to have this one here so I can write my message. And then I'm going to have this one here just as a nice decoration. So, you know, there's lots of space on this card to be able to, you know, stamp and write your message. So you may not want to do it here. You might want to do more... Just decoration throughout again just bring in this one here so you can get some inspiration with the flower on that one and then this one I really love you know where I've put the little vase there and then I'm gonna write my message on this side so you know like I said lots and lots of scope for this one so I'm going to pop that one in there and just stick this one down that's that done so now I'm going to stick this one down first in the centre. So I've already put my foam pads on the back of this one and I've also put foam in between this one on top as well. So we're going to pop that one right in the centre, about there. Okay, and then I'm going to pop these flowers quite close to the topper. I like them overlapping into the topper. And I'm going to do this one and I'm pretty much going to copy how I've decorated this one here and a few little Nouveau drops. I'm going to use these ones here which are 
is it party pink? I think it was, no actually the other one, no, I want to use this one here which is a lot softer. So this one here is bubblegum blush and I think that will look quite nice with this one. So I'm just going to use my hot glue here and first of all stick the flower down and then I can feed in the leaves around it. So like I said I've got quite a lot of dimension on this so I can just pop this into my envelope box. The leaves I've just kind of shaped them just a little bit like that. You can just stress and do all that lot as well if you want but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep this one quite um, quite a clean looking card. So I'm just cutting off the ends there and then just pop a little bit of glue and just start feeding those in there. Pop that one there. That's the front done. And then this one here, I'm just going to have maybe they're just coming down there like so. That will do. And then I'm just going to finish off with a few Nuvo drops. Well, a few. I always tend to go a bit mad. Always squeeze it first on a piece of scrap just so you don't get it, um, you know, cause sometimes it will push out the air and it can ruin your project. But I like to do just different sizes, keep them quite close around the flowers. Just bring that up and you can see there's so much dimension. The thing I like about this is even when you open it, it stays flat. So you can like decorate all in here, even if that's all wet and still drying, it's, yeah, it's quite a fun card. So they're really easy to make as well, this took no time at all. So yeah, I'm really pleased with these. I think they are beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope those of you that have watched the Facebook Live, um, you know, enjoy this video. So now you've got this to go to because the Facebook Lives are great, but obviously they're much longer. So I think I was on for maybe, you know, two and a half hours. Whereas when I do the YouTube videos, I condense it right down into quick videos for you to use for reference and you can save these into playlists and all that kind of thing that I know you like to do. So yeah, thank you for watching. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's video and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. See you soon. Bye.